imam and a Christian priest have gathered together for an annual feast. At the first of the year, they're coming together to crack up some jokes and talk about weather. The mood was great and the food was abound, but after the meal, no dessert could be found. They searched low and high for a sugared confection and eventually found a cookie collection. They smelled kind of strange. They were wrapped and concealed, but with no other choice to the men, they appealed. What they have missed in their unrestrained speed, the cookies were special. They were made out of weed. After some laughs and continuous chatter, they started to notice something's the matter. But since none of the three had been previously high, they entered the flow without asking why. The rabbi said, Friends, I must here confess, I think God descended and entered my chest. I feel divine love like never before. Those cookies were great. Are there any more? Just two or three left, replied the imam. I'm feeling the same, that God may have come. I now grok the words of Muhammad the Holy. Love one another, said the one and the only. I feel the Christ love, muttered the priest. It burns like a fire and doesn't decrease. I'm slightly frightened. My senses are heightened. How could it be that we all got enlightened? Hold on, I'm thinking, giggled the rabbi as he reached for a cookie and loosened his necktie. My religion is clear. There is only one God. I guess our opinions were basically flawed. If you two are feeling the love in the belly, aside from the unexplained cravings for jelly, then all three religions are truly the same. One God to proclaim, it's all a fair game. Jewish tradition is immensely frustrating. So many rules is the Bible dictating. To think I was able to manage with less is quite perplexing and hard to confess. Or worse, said the priest with a worried expression, what is the value of prayer and confession? If you two are also perceiving the Lord, then what was the point of all the efforts I poured? Think of the things that were done in his name. All rites and ablutions are basically lame. I feel like a fraud. I could practically cry. Pass me the water. My eyes are quite dry. No shit, said the Muslim. I'm feeling some shame. I'm one of us three and equal to blame. Our religion is strict and can get quite obsessive. In the name of Islam, some are rude and oppressive. But the main thing to ask and to ponder tonight is what was the reason that brought us the light? I don't think it was that we practice religion. Are there any cookies left, not even a smidgen? The reason, my friends, that we felt the divine is that all of us three have gathered to dine. Despite our opinions and different traditions, we became friends and removed the partitions. And since that day, their friendship has grown, the source of their ha is still remaining unknown. And every time they meet for a snack, they secretly hope that God would come back.